When you think of Polynesia, does an image of a tiki come to mind? A wooden statue with a huge head. Indeed, tiki speak of an enchanting ancient time. Tiki masks, poles, and especially the statues create images of an ancient culture, one in which the natives celebrate the gods of nature, praying for their favor on the seas. During our trip to the French Polynesian Islands, Isabel and I found these marvelous totems on every island we visited, and especially clustered around churches. In fact, the ancient tikis often guarded the Polynesian tribe's sacred sites. By definition, a tiki is a wooden or stone carving in humanoid form. Carvings similar to tikis are found not just in the Tahitian area, but in most Polynesian cultures, from New Zealand to Hawaii, from Samoa to far off Easter Island. Traditionally, a tiki carving has one-third head, one-third body, and one-third legs. Typical representations show large eyes and a bald head. The history of tiki culture dates back to ancient time. Carving is second to cave paintings as mankind's oldest known art form, so old that a 25,000-year-old stone statue has been found in Polynesia. In Maori mythology, the Sky Father and the Earth Mother gave birth to Tain, the god of peace and beauty. Tain created Tiki, considered the first man, although also a demigod. Tiki lived a lonely life and craved companionship. He was overjoyed when he saw his reflection in a pool of water, but when he dove into the pool to embrace his newfound friend, his joy turned into sadness as the image shattered. In his anguish, he covered the pool with dirt, and that earth gave birth to a female companion. This tiki, representing that union, was purchased by Isabel and me on the small island of Hiva Ua. According to the mythology, the couple gave birth to many other demigods, including Ku, the god of war, Lono, the god of fertility and peace, Cain, the god of light and life, and Kanaloa, the god of the sea. Although anybody may carve tiki statues, those carved by high-ranking tribesmen were considered sacred and powerful and used in special religious ceremonies. Statues carved with threatening expressions scared away evil spirits, and others with more amicable expressions were created for use in religious ceremonies, healing services, or to bring good luck. At this site on Hiva Oa Island, an archaeological site tells a story of the once powerful Nike tribe. The story goes that a few members of the Nike tribe kidnapped a chief of a neighboring tribe, sacrificing him to one of the Nike gods. The brother of the kidnapped chief organized a mass raid of the Nike tribe by a group of tribes, killing off most of the Nikes. A few of the Nike tribe did escape, and they set up a colony on another island, Uahuka. One day we hiked high up this hill on this island to visit the ancient site of the second Nike tribe. They established themselves in the forest halfway up a mountainside. From this site, they could keep an eye on any tribes arriving in their bay down below, with plenty of time to organize a fight or flight. Also, being halfway down the mountain, they had a good supply of fresh water and fruit. Here are a few of the ancient tikis from that site. These tikis come from a large park on Hukahiva. Every few years, a different Magsaysay Island in French Polynesia hosts an inter-island festival and contest. To prepare for the event, the host island creates a squadron of tikis to give their blessings and protections to the games. Tikis became popular in America in the 1940s when many soldiers were returning home from World War II. A restaurant chain, Trader Vic, incorporated them as a theme. Even today, rum-based drinks like the Mai Tai and Zombie still flow freely and the tiki gods maintain their scowling disposition. Today, tikis are found in all sizes, both as decorations and around the home. The natives even tattoo them on their bodies for protection. Next time you're in Tahiti, get yourself a tiki and have a set of protection for yourself. Isabel bought one, a six-foot monster that'll surely scare away the evil spirits. Mm -hmm.